Hello YouTube, this is BoostBy4 and I'm making a new updated version of my Kotor 1 on Windows 7 and I'm going to be a little bit more clear on this video than I was on my other video and I'm going to show you step by step instructions from step 1 all the way to the end on what to do when you first insert your game. Now, you want to uninstall your game you want to go to your control panel, programs, and uninstall, a clean uninstall. Make sure the whole game is gone. You can keep your saves or whatever. But um, once you uninstall it, put your CD1 back in. And then go to your start menu and go to computer. When your CD1 is inside, it's going to be in one of these drives. Mine's in here. And I'm, you're going to right click and go to open. And when you go to open, this is what it's going to look like inside. Well, it might not be the same, but it should look almost the same. You're going to find setup, and you're going to hit properties, and you're going to go to compatibility, and make sure that this is checked and this is checked. It's going to look like this when you first open it. You're going to check this box. You're going to go here, and you're going to click on Windows XP Service Pack 2. You're going to scroll down, well not scroll down, move down, and it says privilege level and you're going to click run this program as administrator and hit apply. And then OK. Now you can X this out. <clears throat> After, once you do the setup, you click change it to Windows XP Service Pack 2, then just double click on the setup or click on it once so it can start the installation. And once you start the installation and you're done, move a uh, create a shortcut on your desktop to the launcher and click on well click on the icon right click and go to properties and go to compatibility now uh, this is what it's going to look like when you first have it you're going to want to click this box run this program in compatibility mode for windows xp service pack 2 then you're going to click run this program as administrator again so it looks like this and you can hit apply and OK now next you're gonna wanna go to your file again where you on the desktop and you're gonna hit open file location now I'll show you another way where you can get to your file location you're gonna go to your start menu computer you're gonna click on your C drive which has all your stuff and then you're gonna go to either program files or program files 86 I think because it's an old game or whatever it's in my program files so uh, find LucasArts SW Couture and this is also the same thing as open file location so yeah everything's the same in here yep now um, I'm gonna X this one out and I'll show you what it, here, what it looks like here. Now you're going to scroll down and there's going to be a file called mss32.dll. Um, when you first install the game on a Windows 7, it's going to not work or it's going to say missing if you have a torrent or something. So I'm going to put a link in the description on a website that has a fixed mss32.dll and you're going to want to install that. I mean, not install it, download that. And then you're just going to I don't know where you're going to have it, but you're going to just drag it and place it here and click copy and replace. And once you do that, you're going to find your configuration settings, which is right over here. You're going to open. Uh, actually, I've noticed people have problems with the security saying denied, so I'm going to help you out over there. You're going to first right click it and go to properties and find security. Now, this is what it looks like so um, whatever names are and um, you're gonna go down to your users or whatever and hit edit and it should pop up a new box permissions for SW Couture and for all of them you're gonna scroll down go down and make sure these boxes are checked it says full control you either deny full control or you allow full control and make sure full control is on for all of them and you just hit apply and hit OK and X is out and then you're going to open this you're going to double click it and it opens up here now you want to go down to your graphics options right over here 
graphics options and all the way at the bottom this is what you, I want you to type I want you to type this right here it says disable vertex buffer objects equals one and under that I want you to type allow windowed mode equals one so it's gonna look like this except put them close to each other so there's no space allowed wind allow windowed mode equals one and then it's gonna say full screen equals one like this and you can't have full screen and windowed mode together because windowed mode is smaller and full screen is just full screen so I'm gonna go here gonna backspace and put zero and um, if you see any more full screens like that because I think there's one in game options if I'm not sure I'm not sure if there is sound game well anyway if you have it in your game options or something somewhere else just hit zero next to it like this and what um, this does the disable vertex buffer objects does is it fixes the Dantooine lag I already said that in my old last video but just saying it again this fixes the Dantooine lag and this lets you run the game in windowed mode so you won't have any problems trying to run it in windowed mode because sometimes it doesn't start up in full screen so uh, and also on your height and width make sure that um, the game supports this my, my max width height and width for the game is 768 height and width is 1024 uh, don't don't put it to your screen size just make it to what the game supports and I think there's also another one in game options but I don't know if you have it anywhere else just change it to the same make sure the numbers are the same and um, also one more thing you're gonna file and save and I should save and then exit out and close this now go back to your Couture desktop icon and hit right click and then go to um, uh, properties yeah properties okay now um, if um, I forgot what you do but if you put space and a dash and a W it allows it starts it in windowed mode. I'm gonna try that right now. Hit apply. Okay, I'm gonna start it right now. Yes, and it should look like this. Go to your configure and recommended settings and hit apply. Make sure it's on low, or if your computer can handle it, mine's on low because my computer doesn't have a video drive. It has a like an HD Intel chip thing which this game does not support but you can still use it close that and then hit the game and um, yeah it started out in full screen mode because I changed the I changed the um, things that on configure I made it start in full screen mode but see it closed down down here because that's the error when I say when you start it it's going to crash so the windowed mode thing fixes that so you're gonna open it you're gonna close this right now I'm gonna end that and it should open up again or end task and now just give it a couple seconds cancel cancel solution okay done now you're gonna go back to your open again so it starts out the configure thing go to configure and change the resolution to 800 by 600 so it opens up like this it opens up inside a window and then you can just click escape and right here and yep that's all you gotta do if it still doesn't work, I'll put a, the link I put in the description is also like a guide on how to fix it. 
and you'll find the MSS32.dll file in, in that on that website. It's going to say that here is the fixed version of the MSS32 file, and it should work. Bye, YouTube, and thanks for watching. Who's watching? Tell me who's watching? Who's watching me?